New York City's new top cop has a long to-do list when she takes the helm January 1st. The biggest job might be bringing back the plainclothes unit to get guns off the street. Top priority of the mayor-elect. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer sat down with Keyshawn Stuhl this afternoon. She is here now with her report. Marsha. Maurice and Christine, she's just starting to figure out the intricacies of the NYPD on a learning curve that may take a while. But one thing incoming Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell knows how to do is get guns off the street. She not only talks the talk, she walked the walk as a plainclothes cop herself in Nassau County. For the past several years, I've had the opportunity to be involved in gang suppression, gun interdiction. So um, we had some great successes in Nassau County for that. And I want to bring that to New York and find out what they're doing here. And let's see how we can marry those together. The next police commissioner of the city of New York and the first woman in its storied 176-year history is cool, calm, and determined to make a difference in New York City. And she didn't miss a beat when I asked her how she'd deal with liberal district attorneys who want to stop prosecuting certain offenses. The incoming district attorney in Manhattan, Alvin Bragg, has said that he doesn't want to enforce resisting arrest, obstruction, misdemeanors, turnstile jumping, open bottle laws, disorderly conduct. What are you going to do? I look forward to having a conversation with the district attorneys to uh, actually go over uh, what their plans are and how we can uh, meet in the middle or at least uh, be able to come to some sort of agreement as to what we think is important to enforce. The new boss of the 35,000 uniformed men and women of the NYPD says she does want to address quality of life crimes, including turnstile jumping. Turnstile jumping in and of itself, it may seem like it's benign, but what is the underlying issue here? If we're talking about shoplifting, is the person hungry? Is there another problem that can be addressed through social services? Speaking of subways, the fact that crime on the subways was up 106% last month compared to 2020 is a big concern. But help may be on the way for beleaguered strap hangers. More cops on the subways, but more cops on the subways where the crimes are occurring. I think when people see police officers in the uniform on the subway, they have a sense of safety. Another hot button issue the new commissioner will face is the growing proliferation of weapons in the schools and whether she will follow through on city plans to move school safety agents out of the NYPD and into the department of education. Gun violence and guns in schools are absolutely a non-starter. So once I have that information, I'm not punting this answer in any way. I just want to be able to give you a better answer when I have all the information. When I interviewed incoming schools Chancellor David Banks last week, he said the safety agents should remain under the jurisdiction of the NYPD. Christina Marie. Boy, going from the suburbs to the city would be tough for anybody. You get the sense that that's part of her I equation? Th I think so, but I think, you know, it's going to be a learning curve. It's a big department, the largest in the country. And I think she'll have to just find her, her wings, you know? It is her hometown, too, so. It is. That's right. where her roots are. Thank Thanks. you, Marcia.